All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast Channel, guys. We've got an unboxing for you, and if you can't tell, it's from Sparrow Knife Company. So, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Logan TV, and let's get started on the Knives Fast Channel. If you are not subscribed, guys, it is time. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Stick around, have some fun. Come to some Monday night live streams at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. And uh, yeah, watch some videos and let's have some fun. So uh, for those of you that are new, a lot of new people, uh, welcome to the community and we appreciate you. So this is from Greg uh, over at Sparrow Knife Company. I reached out to him uh, and guys, you kind of know what this is, but I reached out to him and said, uh, do you have a prototype I can check out? And he said, yeah, I do. So <laughs> how cool is that? So I'm going to cut this. Well, we'll try to cut it on camera. Uh, but with the non-label side to you here. All right. Let's see. All right, I'm going to cut this part over here. And this is the channel unboxing knife from Keith the Knife Freak. It is still sharp and crazy. So we start off with some cool Sparrow Knife Company swag and awesome, awesome. Oh, you guys know we love the shredded paper here. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. It's fine. I'm just being silly. So, uh, let's see. We just have a, Greg, this will not be the final, um, packaging. This is just a pouch. Uh, so don't get hung up on that. But if, for those that don't know, Sparrow Knife Company, Greg is, um, a custom maker, uh, who recently did, um, a production knife, I think with Best Tech and, uh, Fenrir, uh, Fenrir, I think. And then, um, now he's taking his most popular custom knife and uh, bringing it to the market. So these are the prototypes of the Strix. This is the prototype of the Strix. Uh, and before I bring it out, the uh, pre-order opens on the 20th. I'm not positive when you're seeing this video. Trying to get it edited into you ASAP. Um, but opens on the 20th and closes on the 25th. Unlimited. Whatever orders he gets is what he's going to order. So, uh, yeah, get the one you want, and you're not going to believe what I've got to look at here. Guys, that's right. What he had left was the crazy Damasteel and Damascus version. Now, this one, just so you know, this one is expensive, but he has much less expensive models. So stay tuned, and we'll talk some about that. Look at the Damascus uh, Timascus Backspacer, Timascus Clip, and the Thor Damasteel Blade. You got all oh, the speed holes. Got to love it. And the black P. I think um, I think it's PVD coated. Uh, 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 pleh, titanium frame. If I can talk. All right, guys. First flick. You ready? Oh yeah. Did you hear that lockup? Very very nicely done. Beautiful. Now, this is freezing cold. That's why you're getting all that uh, moisture because it just came out of my freezing cold mailbox. Um, I was working a basketball game, and when I came home, this was in the mailbox. So I'm going to wipe it off uh, with my now filthy Devo Nice. Uh, oh, look, that might give you a hint of what color something is, but we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, and let's see if I can do this without. Okay. I got to get it past the detent, but I definitely don't want to drop this on myself. Okay, well, uh, very cool. All right, so you've got this sweet-looking kind of harpoonish, rhino-ish, uh, you know, uh, sheep's foot Warncliffe thing. Oh yes, holy mackerel! Ergonomically, this is fantastic. This is why I reached out to Greg because, guys, you know, I'm attracted to knives that are ergonomically fantastic and have this kind of blade especially. Um, I think, let's see, am I putting pressure on the lock bar there? Let's let's try. Get your hand back. Okay, yeah. Drops a little bit better uh, once I get the pressure off. Let's see if I can front flip it. I am terrible at this. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a little stiff on this one, but not bad. It's very smooth feeling, uh, so that's not a problem. The... Um, uh, the, what am I trying to say, Casey? Get the word out of your mouth. The detent feels really nice. The lockup is good. Uh, fantastic. I cannot wait, uh, to check this out and review it. Look at that blade. 
Let's just talk more about that damage deal. Now, I've never, I'm not bougie, guys, so you know, I don't typically go after really high-end knives uh, like this, but let's talk about it. So the the titanium, the, the gray titanium one uh, with, I think, either, it's either stone wash or satin, I'm not sure, is going to be like 335, I believe. Uh, then you go up uh, to the... Um, Gosh, I'm shaking because I'm enjoying this so much. Then you go up to, I believe, the micarta and the carbon fiber ones. And those are going to run, I think, 345 or 350. Can't remember for sure. And then this one, like I said, is $680. Now, don't let that shock you. It is damn steel. You do have a Timascus clip, a Timascus backspacer. Uh, you have the PVD coating, all of those things price it up. Oh, wait a minute. A Timascus pivot collar. Yep, on both sides. And the Dama Steel. So, yeah, I mean, it's high, but I think for what you're getting, that actually makes a little bit of sense. Uh, this thing is uh, relatively thin stock, uh, and it comes down, let's see, it is hollow. Uh, comes down to a nice thin edge. Beautiful, beautiful knife, guys. This is this might be the most beautiful thing I've ever had in on the channel. It is just let me brighten this up a little bit. Let's see. Ooh, too much. Sorry. All right. Well, we're gonna go back where we were because that was too much. But just gorgeous, guys. This thing is unbelievably cool. Um, I'm being if you if you're wondering about the closing, I'm being very careful. I don't like cutting myself on camera. Uh, I, I guarantee you, now what's happening is it's kind of getting stuck in that detent spot right there, but once you get it past the detent, it's nice, smooth, and hydraulic dropping. I'm just kind of afraid that I'm going to drop it on myself because I am, you like, push it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I start pushing past that detent because of the force, I'm afraid I'm going to shove it down on myself. So I'm being very cautious. You guys that are better with a drop shut knife... Uh, will probably uh, be much better. And probably by the time I do my review, uh, it won't be anything like that. It's just me being very cautious because uh, I do not like cutting myself at all. And I really don't like cutting myself on camera. So just being extremely cautious. So let's see. Um, I don't have anything to cut. Yes, I do. Here we go. Ah, all right. So we're going to slice some cardboard here because this looks like it will be a bit of a cardboard destroyer. Uh, let's see. Oh, my gracious. Okay, guys, this is not just a pretty face. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Best Tech does a fantastic job uh, so often. Let's get this hunk off here so that I can have a better spot here. But they do a fantastic job with knives. All right, well, let's try this again. Uh, I was showing the knife cutting and my uh, camera locked up, which is always fun. Uh, but what I was saying is... Best Tech does a fantastic job with these thin, hollow ground knives, and this one is no exception. So, guys, that's it for this video. I am excited to check this out, and then this is going to be going on to a couple other reviewers that have uh, given me some idea that they have interest, and we'll go from there. Again, really nice action. Uh, wow. Very, there you go. You see, I did better already right there. So, Really, really cool. Sparrow Knife Company. Love its logo. Greg, you're awesome, dude, for letting me check this out. I'll get my review turned around as quickly as I can uh, so that those of you interested in the pre-order uh, can uh, hopefully have some more information. But so far, I'm going to tell you, uh, it's everything I thought it would be. Um, and I'm going to go ahead because I told people I was worried about the lock bar access. Um, it's, 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 it could be better, but it's definitely not as bad as I had expected. So we'll talk more about that in the review. Uh, again, ergonomically, it is fantastic. Look at that. Just perfection with the finger choil and that resting spot right there for my thumb. Just so good. And four fingers back here as well. So the Sparrow Strix coming from Best Tech. Uh, Pre-order 20th through the 25th. 
Check it out, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, anybody interested in this Damasteel version? I bet there is, are people. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.